It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday Night Special, where we talk about everything rock hounding related. So, uh, I'm going to start this one off tonight with a question for you. These things. Those books. Now, if you didn't watch last week's uh, Saturday Night Special, we talked a little bit about um, spots in these books that are not accurate, okay? Um, and, you know, like kind of fact-checking, some of that type of stuff. I would like... I have, my, I have a question for you, basically. I would like to do some fact-checking of books. Now, I kind of figured, right, this... One, to fact check one guidebook would take me about eight hours of work. Now, obviously, I can't just spend an I don't have an extra eight hours to fact check this book and all the other books, but I would still like to do it. So I'm trying to figure out a good way to go about fact checking these guidebooks for everyone. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I would have to monetize that in some way or do something with that. I think it would kind of make for a very dull video. If I was to just go through here and be like, oh, yeah, site 49 is not accessible. Don't go there. Site 53, not accessible. Don't go there. Like, first off, it would end up being like a two minute video. Um, and I don't think anybody would watch it, but I still think it'd be good to fact check it. So I'm just trying to figure out how to make that work. If you have any thoughts on that, I am all ears. OK, because I'm down to do it. But like, I got to it's got to be wor worth it for me if I'm going to be spending if, let's see, if I was to fact check all of my books, uh, what, like a hundred hours of work? Just a thought. So there's that. Um, you know, one thing that's been a, been a while since we've done, right? It's been a while since, I gotta take these off for this. It's been a while since we've checked the Inhydro. Now, um... If you, you're not familiar with what's going on within Hydro, Kyle, over at World of Rockhounds, he sent me a dehydrated in Hydro agate. And it initially weighed in at 33. You can see the water level in there. It initially weighed in at like 33.9 grams. And I've been soaking it here in this distilled water and hoping that we can rehydrate this guy. So what I'm thinking we'll do is, you know, it's been it's been in there over a month. Let's see where we're at. I don't know. I think it's time for plan B here, right? I mean, uh, that is, it's basically the same weight. It hasn't refilled hardly at all. So I think... Um, I have to come up with another plan for for the hydro to put some water back in it. So that's going to be something that I'm going to have to figure out and work on. Also, uh, I did a little polishing. So the Wawa Wee Calcite Crystals. I had this chunk here, and this stuff is very sharp. I did, like it wants to like break off in your hand, and like it's not not the nicest. Um, not the nicest crystals. Throw these gloves on for this. So you can see I uh, it was kind of fractured up, and I just kind of polished it around the side here and left the top and the bottom kind of that standard kind of crustiness. But it was kind of fun. We got like what is that? Like one type of calcite meeting some type of dog tooth calcite. I mean, it's fun in that sense. But uh, so I have this now as a little little piece for. On, you know, on my shelf. Check out that cinnabar from this past week. Karen's letting me keep this. Thank you so much, Karen. I'd rather not take it out and handle it. It does kind of want to dust up. I'll put a link to that video that I did this week. A lot of fun stuff. I got a couple of more rocks to show you. A um, couple of other things to talk about before we get into some of the other rocks that we're going to be doing. Um, so I just want to talk about blades real quick. Now, these types of things. These big, big blades. 
right? Lapidary blades. And uh, I don't have any tile saw blades anymore, but here's the thing. Now, uh, and this person said that I could use their name, so thank you so much for that. Um, it's important to note that lapidary wet saws, so that would be like your water-based uh, lapidary blades or you know lapidary saws, oil saws, they generally spin slow, okay? You can't take a lapidary blade and put it on a tile saw and vice versa, right? So, tile, uh, you know, your tile saw spins around 3,200 to like 4,000 RPM. If you take one of those big blades that are meant for lapidary, that I think their max RPM on them is like 1,700, something like that. Um, you know, it, it, it can come apart. It's not rated to spin that fast. So you got to match your blade with your saw. That's an important thing. Um, I know, uh, so, uh, Manistee Rocks, he, he had some issues with that this past week. And, uh, you know, I was talking to him about it and stuff. And I just kind of, you know, throw it out there. If you're, if you're curious and you think you're going to have better luck running a lapidary blade on your tile saw, uh, it's not compatible in that direction. So avoid, avoid that, you know, I know that people are probably going to be like, well, I've been doing it. My brother's uncle's friend's nephew, he he did it, and no problem. But that that's fine. That's good for you. Not really recommended, you know. <clears throat> uh, this past week, the I believe it was the Cinnabar video. That was our 200th video here, which blows me away. We have 200 videos up here on this YouTube channel. It has become quite the body of work, and I think um, it will stand the test of time. Now, what is also interesting is that I have about, I think, 7,700 subscribers now with 200 videos, and, and I think this means way more than what other people have done. Now, that's just, that's opinion, of course. Everybody thinks what they do matters the most. Um, YouTube has never helped me at all. OK, if you go and look at most people's YouTube channels that have like 5000 subscribers or up or, uh, you know, in this case, 200 videos, they generally have some videos that have been picked up by the algorithm. You know, they got 50,000 views, 100,000 views, things like that. That has happened this many times for me. Zero times. So uh, it kind of even feels a little bit better, in, in my opinion. Uh, we also we cut we cut these thunder eggs this past week. Right, check these guys out. Look at that. Look at that beautiful thunder egg. These are thunder eggs that I'm going to be polishing up in a future video, and we will be giving these away as the channel grows. I got plans, people. I got plans. Let's look at this. Check out that beautiful thunder egg. That one's gorgeous. I probably won't make a video polishing these up. I'm probably just going to polish them and you can you can see them. Get a little more water on this one. Oh, that's beautiful, huh? Look at that. That's a nice thunder egg. So typically, I film these Saturday videos, Saturday morning. You see me on here with my coffee or my tea. Uh, sometimes I also film them on Friday night if that's what my schedule allows. So I want to show you something pretty cool. You know, in the past, we've talked about the Mars rover, the Perseverance rover, and that they're kind of going there and they're looking for rocks, all this stuff. Check out this rock that they found. Now, they have yet to identify this as of April 2nd at, what is it, 5 p.m.? April 2nd, 5 p.m., they haven't identified this rock yet. But look, they found that cool green rock on, uh, on Mars. What do you think this could possibly be? Now, I'm, um, you know, uh, there's really no context other than, well, it's on Mars, right? Um, so that's kind of cool. I thought... It, interesting, you know, to, to be able to uh, check that thing out, you know. Um, lastly, I think, I 
think I'm going to have to uh, show, give you a little preview for what's happening next week because I think it's going to be good. I think you're going to like it. So next week it is going to be all about this. It is all about petrified wood next week. So I got, we're doing a video talking about what this stuff is, why it is the way it is, and then we're going to go get some. So that should be a lot of fun. And I think with that, we're going to have to call it a wraps here for another Saturday night special. Thanks for stopping by, everybody. I appreciate you coming by, hanging out, and listening to me. Take care.